Here we're doing stand-up shows October 20th through the 23rd in Florida and Buffalo. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for tickets. Hey, here's to let you know the world is worse than you thought. Uh, robot dogs have ha, now have assault rifles mounted on their backs. You thought I was making that up? Did you think I was making it up? No. I'm conflicted by this because robot dogs with guns was one of the most interesting pornos I've ever seen. <laughs> Ghost Robotics and Sword International have teamed up to create a rifle-toting robot dog. Called the Special Purpose Unmanned Rifle, or SPUR, the system adds a mounted 6.5-millimeter Creedmoor rifle. Wow. Wow. When I give my dog a gun, it's considered irresponsible and negligent. But when Ghost Dynamics does it, apparently it's fine. <laughs> wow. We, we, we have reached the truth is stranger than the lazy action movie plots level of society. That's, what we're, that's where we're at. The Spur made its debut on the show floor at the Association of the U.S. Army's annual convention in Washington, D.C., you know, someday these are all going to be guarded. This is, I bet you already they're already guarding Jeff Bezos' house. I'll bet yeah. you any money. The spur can be instructed remotely to chamber the first round from an unloaded state, as well as clear the chamber and safe the gun. The weapon used in the spur module could have a sound suppressor fitter, a silencer, which could make it more difficult for opponents to determine where the shooting might be coming from. The Spur product card said it's capable of precision fire out to 1,200 meters or nearly 3,940 feet. This, well, that's almost 5,000 feet is a mile, right? Pretty sure. This unmanned <laughs> system already features impressive stabilization capabilities as a result of its quadrupedal design. 5,280. Fingers crossed that these don't find their way into the city police. Well, you know what? You don't think they're going to fuck it? Boom! Boom! You know how it goes. Test them in a far-off land so no one pays attention to who it kills, and then bring them back home and deploy them in neighborhoods next Thursday. Wow. Wow. Who would look at this and go, oh, those are definitely the good guys. <laughs> these are definitely the good guys. <laughs> Who would look at that picture and think these are the good guys? Point us to the filthy protesters who want clean water. <laughs> Where are those pukes who want police to stop killing people? <laughs> Point us towards them. Jeez. Ghost Robotics CEO says we're adjusting it to make it like a mammal. Our robot, when you see it climbing stairs or if you shove them, these forces are computed at 2,000 calculations per second per leg. If a warfighter or a mining company, if anybody is using our robot, this robot had better operate 99.99% .99 of the time. And then he then proceeded to smash an empty Red Bull can over his head <laughs> and started doing incoherent <laughs> chants. So here's, here's people's, here's Twitter's response. Went from dancing robots to mounted assault rifles on robot canine dogs real quick. Yes, it did. Remember, oh, they're cute. They're dancing robots. They're jumping. Oh, now we're going to make them into dogs and put a assault rifle on them. I give it six months before these are deployed at labor strikes. Ah, yes, difficult to roll out a uh, show-me-your-paper society without armed robots patrolling the streets. Next few decades are going to be fun. Wow. This is going to end just fine. <laughs> So there you go. Gun robots, baby. Gun robots. All right. Over to Steph.
So in the book Fahrenheit 451, uh, can you put uh, camera four beside me? Boom. In Fahrenheit 451, they have a thing called a mechanical dog, and the one lead character in the in the book, Guy, uh, uh, what, guy what was guy's last name? Uh, anyways, he was afraid of the mechanical dog. He's totally threatened by this because it growls at him and it's ominous and has a needle that comes out and can like. Because his fear is that somebody can program this animal just to be aggressive towards me. And uh, Mechanical Hound. How yeah, this came true. Well, so that are. book was written in 1955, I think. Uh, Fahrenheit 451. 1953. And the Mechanical Hound. That Mechanical Hound is so nefarious and so scary in the book to me when I would read it with my students. But like this is now. It's here. 2021. Yeah. Any kind of weapon, you're, you're planning on using it against people. That should be, uh, it should be against the law. Like, was it there that the whole time that, like, was it there that mantra, like, uh, uh, robots aren't supposed to be created to kill? Like, was it that the w one thing that they used to say? I think so. A artificial intelligence or something. I don't, yeah. But they eventually will, because they eventually will always kill us. <laughs> That's what I'm told. <laughs> We're doing stand-up comedy in Florida, in West Palm Beach, and Dania, and, and then we're going to Buffalo, Baltimore, Tempe, and Portland. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all our tickets.